Hello, Cancer, my darlings, and welcome back to my channel, Lumen Moon Tarot. So, Cancer, yep, and first breath is on the bottom of the deck. Um, cancer, and you're just, you're swimming up. You guys, I had this the other night in your reading. Um, wasn't it last night? I had that mermaid energy. I'm pretty sure it was your reading, Cancer, taking that first breath, right? Because you know what? There's a big change. The horseman. Herald of change is what it says on your card. So anyway, Cancer, just take what resonates, my darlings. Leave the rest behind. And thank you so much. I love you, Cancer. Thank you so much for all of your support. The likes, all of my subscribers, everybody new here, welcome. All right, so yeah, Cancer, this card came out in your reading, I'm pretty sure, last night, okay, this first breath. And I did pick up on that mermaid energy. You know, um, the deep diver, it's coming out in reverse because spirit wants you to see that you're swimming up. You're elevating, Cancer. You're going to be upgrading. This is a huge change that's happening in a brand new cycle. Um, you know, going to the surface, right? Coming out of emotion, um, getting your balance, getting your emotional balance, right? Um, I feel like when you when you hit the top of the surface of this cancer and break through, this is like a breakthrough that you're going to have. It's um, it's like taking that first breath, <gasps> you know. Um, yeah, your life is about to change in big ways, my darling. Divine feminine energy. I feel like um, uh, you've been in this protective womb, right? It's it feels more like. Um, you know, a metamorphosis. You've been going through a huge change. You may even, even be noticing some body changes, okay? Changes in your health, maybe. Um, it feels like replenishment, rejuvenation kind of energy in February, okay? Which is awesome. Some of you may even find out that you're pregnant in February. That's for someone, okay? You may be pregnant, not for all of you, of course, right? <laughs> Just take it how it resonates with you. But, um, yeah, I'm feeling um, like, you know, your, your nails could grow longer. Your hair could grow. I was looking at my hair just today. I'm like, oh, my gosh, it's really super shiny, right? Um, and it's really growing. Like, I just cut it, and it's, like, grown another, like, two inches. So, I mean, you may be noticing something like that or um, um, like your complexion is changing. Um, it could even be, you know, we're starting, we're getting into spring, Cancer. I'm feeling that spring energy, okay? Um, so you're getting out in the sunlight more, you know? Um, yeah, there's some changes that are happening with your body. But I feel like cancer, you've just you've been going through a metamorphosis. And now now this is your breakthrough. You're breaking through that. Okay, you're gonna be getting outside more. Um you're gonna be elevating very, very quickly. So if you have a business cancer, I feel like that's gonna be elevating quickly. Um if you you know if your business is gonna be booming, your money's gonna be looking good. Um, you're going to be able to save money, you know, or work towards a goal. You may even be making some kind of house move in February or thinking about upgrading your home. Um, it could be anything. You, you could be looking for a new home or getting new furniture or something. I'm also feeling like maybe you felt closed in, um, during the winter time, right? Maybe um, you're clearing out some clutter. You want you want some breathing room. You could be getting a much bigger place to live. I just see you making all kinds of improvements. Ancestral wisdom, more wisdom is coming for you. Um, downloads, messages, signs, synchronicities. You're going to be seeing a lot of them. You know, and I'm feeling like you're kind of surrounded by spirit guides. Okay, something also about the full moon energy that's coming up um, in February. Especially around the, this full moon. I don't know what this next full moon is. But you're going to, um, it's going to be open lines of communication between you, your ancestors, your spirit guides. 
you're going to be getting a lot of downloads in February, okay? I kind of feel like you're, um, you're going through an ascension. It, it almost feels like, yeah, because you're ascending, you're upgrading here. You're going through an ascension in February. It may make you feel tired, fatigued. Um, it may feel like possibly cold symptoms. I mean, don't hesitate to go to the doctor if you think you have to, right? You may need to get some extra rest in February. Someone here could like own a ranch or a horse. I'm feeling you, um, you know that you're bringing in change, right? You know that this is a new, a whole new life that's starting for you here. Yeah. And you're going to know that you're, that you're beloved one to the divine. Radical acceptance. I didn't that come out in your reading as well. Yeah, see, look, you you are so loved by the divine. Oh, my gosh. Um, the universe is your partner, Cancer. Yeah. You're going to feel very loved, um, very connected to spirit in February. Okay. Oh, this could also be, uh, yeah, they just gave me the chills. If If you are spending valentine's day alone i feel like spirit is gonna give you something bless you somehow it could be something as simple as you know your favorite movie comes on tv or um you get an unexpected package from someone something like that i feel like around valentine's day in february Spirit is going to bless you. They're going to make you feel so loved, Cancer. I feel like um, you're going to be feeling really good in February, okay, this month. Grace and generosity. See, I'm, I feel like Spirit is going to be granting you something. It could be um, money. It could be a soulmate connection. You're not going to be feeling alone. I feel like you're, you are not going to be feeling alone, okay? You're going to be gifted with something around, around the middle of February. You're going to see that um, the possibilities for you are endless, limitless, because you're co-creating with spirit. So something that you've manifested, Cancer, you've been working on your manifestation skills. And we talked about manifesting, and I tried to really help you guys understand it and find ways to do it okay um so i know you've been working on that and i feel like it's you're going to get confirmation that it, whatever it is that you've been manifesting it's coming to you you're going to realize how much power you have you're going to realize that spirit is right there next to you working with you okay they're about to grant you something here it's like a generous gift from the divine okay and you're gonna see your true manifesting power come into your reality um, your dreams your wishes are becoming your reality um, sometime like mid-February meditation and stillness yeah yep and you're being crowned the right use of power okay um, yeah, I feel like you're, you're going to realize you've been crowned. Um, I feel like you, it's almost feels like a crowning and an anointing. Okay. Crowned and anointed in February cancer and being rewarded. Um, the divine shows you that your manifestation powers, um, they're working in your life. Okay, they're changing. This is that change that's coming in. Herald of change. And you're bringing it in. Okay. Um, yeah, it's changing your life, my darling. You're seeing that um, it's limitless. Yep. And I feel like this is, um, this is you now starting to manifest even more. Okay, you may even be starting um, a, a dream board, right? Is that what they're called? Where, you know, you take pictures of things that you're wishing for and put them on a board. 
right? I feel like you're really going to be focused on the things that you want. Once you get this one wish, the thing that you manifested to come in, it almost feels like you were experimenting, Cancer. Like you're like, okay, I'm going to try to manifest this. I, I feel like I'm not going to get it. You know, maybe that's how you were feeling. Like, we'll just see if it happens. You know what, Cancer? It's going to happen. It's going to be your proof that this manifestation stuff actually works. The, um, the law of attraction, right? And I feel like you're going to be, you're going to realize how powerful you are. Um, you're literally being crowned and anointed here. All right. It almost feels like, um, a baptism. So you're being, you could be being purified at the same time while you're in this womb, right? While you're in that transformation stage. But yeah, and there's that mermaid energy again. Yep, and like I said, body changes, okay? Yeah, detoxification and purification. That's what this is. Detoxification and purification here in February because spirit is anointing you and crowning you. Okay, so they need your energy pure. Um, I, is some of you could be like maybe even fasting this month or taking a lot of spiritual baths, right? Cleansing your energy, cleansing your mind. This is repairing the body, mind, and spirit. So yes, this you are definitely going through some kind of metamorphosis here, a big change. Spirit is purifying you, anointing you, crowning you, and rewarding you, and showing you. They're showing you that um, the power you have to work with the universe okay wow cancer holy cow i'm getting the chills you guys okay <laughs> you could be seeing a lot of repetitive numbers as well i'm also the way i laid these cards they're having me look at these numbers right um a lot of 11 11s i mean look at all of these ones and this four that's 11 11 you know 11 11 <laughs> right yeah, you've completed a cycle, Cancer. You've closed the door on something here. You're freeing, like I said, you're, you're freeing your mind, body, and spirit. Okay? Being purified, anointed. This is a big month for you. And spirit is really showing you the love. They want you to feel loved, okay, in February. They want you to feel loved. They want you to know that you are not alone. Okay, they're with you. Like, oh, you know, it feels like they're, they're like petting my arms. So you may even experience something like that. You know, being touched by the divine, right? A bold step forward. Um, and I think we had this in your reading last night too. Um, this I'm seeing as a rebirth, Cancer. This is, it's your rebirth. Here's the womb. Here's the, the, that birth canal opening, this new portal. Okay. This is you um, being purified, right? As you start this new beginning, as you come through this portal. This is your new beginning, purification. You make it through this new portal, right? This is a bold step forward, a brand new beginning, your first breath, and you're anointed and crowned. Yes. Oh my gosh, Cancer. Oh, you guys, I'm getting the chills all over me. It's giving me royal bloodlines, ascended master. It's really, really powerful energy, Cancer. It's kind of like all of a sudden I wanted to cry. Is somebody crying? Oh my gosh. Yeah, preparations. Yeah, see, and that's what this is. You're going through a preparation period um, so that preparations come to fruition. And, and the things that you, look, the things that you manifested, something you manifested, okay? Um, you may have started to even, like, lose faith that it was coming in, right? You maybe started to lose belief 
that it was coming to you. It's coming to you. You're going to see that. Um, you're going to understand divine timing because that you know that spirit is, is preparing your wishes, right, to come into a reality, all right? I, I feel like, oh my gosh, Cancer. And I feel like you are being prepared for the things that are to come in this new cycle because your whole life is about to change. My darlings, it's about to change. Listen, Cancer. <laughs> I'm getting really excited here for you. I'm sorry. I've got the chills. I'm all excited. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh, Cancer. Oh, my gosh, Cancer. I'm still getting the chills, you guys, for real. <laughs> okay. Um, whew. It's giving me the goosebumps. It's not even the chills. It's the goosebumps, Cancer. It's an excited kind of feeling. Yeah, it's time to replenish. Okay? Um, so I feel like cancer, this, this whole process has made you kind of tired. But that's, that's what you're doing that, um, right now. You're in this replenishing, preparation, um, purification energy right now. That's where spirit has you. So if you need to rest you get your rest. I feel like spirit's going to make you rest no matter what. If they need you to rest, they're going to have you rest. If they need you to cleanse, they're going to have you cleanse. You know, um, if they need you to get outside in the sunlight, they're going to get you outside in the sunlight. I feel like you are going to do whatever they tell you to do. You're just kind of going with the flow right now. It feels like right now they kind of have full control. Okay? <laughs> okay? And you're just sort of going with it. Oh, my gosh. Cancer, this energy is so powerful. Ooh, yep, you're going to be moving out of stagnation now. Everything is going to start flowing for you. Look at this. Cancer, overwhelm and plenty. I'm telling you, you're going to be overwhelmed. I feel like you're going to be overwhelmed over here when that manifestation, that wish you had, actually comes into reality. Okay? You're going to be blown away by that. But I'm telling you, get ready um, because your life is changing really quickly. Uh, I feel like you went from, look at you went from dry, barren wasteland, right? Struggles, sadness, um, difficulties, blockages, and now everything is flowing to you really quickly, Cancer. Look, overwhelm, it's an overflow, overwhelm and plenty, that's what you have coming towards you. This is a lot of abundance, okay? Um, spiritual knowledge as well. Um, intuition, spiritual abilities. Spirit, right now, you're kind of in a lull. It feels like a lull where you're sort of being just sort of held in this little womb, okay? You're held in this little bubble here while spirit purifies you. And as soon as you go through this portal, as soon as you, um, it's like this is your rebirth, right? You're anointed and you're crowned like royalty. Uh, I don't know. It's just, it's a very powerful energy, Cancer. I absolutely, I'm in love with this reading. I'm in love with this reading. <sighs> Oh, I absolutely love it. All right, so um, let me see what else. I, I kind of, you know, I don't want to mess it up. Cancer, you are so blessed. Look at this. You're so blessed. Okay, yeah, and the scales are being balanced for you, Cancer, okay? Yeah, wish fulfillment. Look at this. Land of milk and honey. You're realizing what's for you and what isn't. Everything is balancing out here. And you're releasing, you're able to release. Spirit is going to show you that, look, there. this is being um, open and ready to receive. They're going to show you how powerful you are when it comes to manifesting. Okay, they're going to, they're going to, you're about to receive what you've wished for. Okay, and then some cancer. Holy cow, this is a time where you are supposed to rest and rejuvenate, replenish, 
Like I said, if you're feeling tired, spirit's going to make you rest. You're also getting a lot of hidden knowledge at this time. So those downloads, man, number one, they may make you feel tired. And number two, sometimes spirit wants you to be asleep when they give you this information. So, but yeah, you're releasing, you're moving forward. Remember, no more stagnancy. This is forward movement. And look at all of these blessings that come in cancer. Holy cow. You know, along with a new soulmate connection, cancer, it's going to feel like a very magical time. Okay, it is. Serendipity to me is like, I don't know, twinkly kind of magic. Okay, I don't know how to, I don't know. Um, yeah. <laughs> so you are also about to meet a new soulmate. That's going to be, it's going to feel like serendipity. It's going to feel like kismet, you know like a destined connection. Yeah, and it's going to lead you to your Ten of Cups. This is this land of milk and honey. This is the Ten of Cups in this deck. Ultimate wish fulfillment. I'm telling you. Oh, Cancer, I absolutely love this reading. I love, love. I don't want to touch it because it's so pretty and so awesome, you guys. Oh, my gosh. Cancer, this is one of the best readings I've ever done for you. This is one of the best messages that, man, that you've gotten in so long. Congratulations, Cancer. Listen, February is going to be a very important month of your life. It is. It's going to overwhelm you. It's going to be that important, okay? So, yeah, and you are going to feel so loved. I'm getting the chills. I'm getting the goosebumps, you guys. <laughs> anyway, my darlings, listen, that's what I got. I, I want to, I just, I love how, I love this reading. I don't want to touch it. It's perfect, just the way it is. Um, anyway, Cancer, I love you. I hope this resonates, you guys. Claim this manifestation as your own. Put it in the comment section. I claim this manifestation as my own. Okay? Beautiful month in February. Anyway, you guys, like and subscribe to the channel. Join this awesome soul tribe. And until next time, Cancer, take care of you and peace out.